1986 when the last time I played football. Things changed. Well, he's a coach's player. He works hard, and when it comes to conditioning, he was just always leading the pack. So it proved to me that you know this wasn't just some guy who's trying to make it on the team and trying to get a jersey. He's actually trying to play, and he's a competitor, just a natural competitor. I just learned football again. I mean, now you're all in these packages, and they have nickel packages and dime packages. They were doing like different coverages. I'm like, what is it? any of this? He, he looked good. I mean, he looked physically. He looked the part. He looked. If anybody could go out there and do it, he looked like he could. I went to the head coach, and you know, he was really encouraging. He's like, I mean, if you want to do this, it's going to take you a while to learn how to run again. I'm like, you know, give it a month. He's like, no, you don't understand. You, you don't know how to run anymore. I'm like, I was a decathlete. I mean, I know how to run. He's like, no, you don't. You forgot. And I'm like, all right, whatever. And I get out there, and you're just like, you're dying. You're dying. <laughs> this past three weeks has been just cruel. We used to eat. Come out here and throw everything up. But now he's learned he's not eating. So he, he has nothing to throw up. Camp was three weeks. It was basically six days a week, but uh, I had long snapper practice on uh, Sundays. So every single day out there. <sighs> like, we didn't do this last year. I got to tell you, I am so sore. Like, sore. And just, like, head to toe. And it isn't because I got hit or it's just recovery time and you just get into one drill then the next drill then running then uh, tackling then one day your shoulder then your neck and then you're feeling a spine you know cramp and, and uh, then suddenly you have shin splints so now you're trying to run backwards to get over that arch problems I mean I've had to go to the masseuse like uh, like four times during during the short period just trying Epsom salt baths and ice packs and Advil, Ugh. like I, I should buy stock in Advil because I use ibuprofen like a champ. I pulled my calf walking up my stairs yesterday and that is not a lie. <laughs> I'm walking up my stairs and I strained my calf. Like, there's no way I'm ever getting out on the football field as a 47 year old. In my mind, I think I could do it. You know, in my mind, I still got skills. I can still move the chains on, on third down. But the body is not going to let that happen. Makes too many mistakes when it comes to stretching, but he's better than 99.9% .9 of the other athletes that go here because he's willing to do this. I got to get him to see it's all for not. He doesn't stretch after these workouts and he winds up injured. This is what happens when you're 47 and you play football. Brought to you live from number 47 in the doctor's office. Thanks, Doc. My pleasure. This type of workout is just as important. In uh, many cases, it's more important than the rest of the lifting weights and the running. All the 30 minute runs, this is how more important. You're just doing it now. Because of your will to not do it yesterday. Uh, it's a strong, teenage, rebellious attitude. Uh, At your age, that's a compliment. Uh, the level of expectation that we have and that we're, we're still not meeting that you know our expectation we set for ourselves is really high and we're not meeting that expectation we won but we know we can do better we know we can win now we just need to follow through and execute at a higher level pay attention to more of the details so that now when we start playing better teams we can continue to win out here while others are sleeping. So take advantage of it. Let's go. 214 left. Two minute, two minute warning. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Set. Like my first season, I didn't play a ton. I played, you know, some. I put a reel together, got a lot of tackles. I did what I could do. I'm not gonna go play for USC. Because I couldn't technically, but he's going to Santa Monica College, taking classes to better himself. He's learning how to play the guitar and um, taking our classes. Next thing you know it, he's training with the football players. And then the question came out was like, why don't you play football? And there was actually nothing to stop him from doing that. He had eligibility left 
um, to play college sports. And he, uh, the way RC is, he went for it. And it uplifts our team because we have guys who are 20 years old, and then I'm sure in their heads they're thinking, why is this 50 year old beating me, or why can't I keep up with them? And I mean, that that's just something that just speaks something about what's inside of a person and RC seems to have a lot of qualities of what a player should have and uh, something that's missing a couple of uh, kids these days. Uh -oh. Who's that DB coming up behind him? It's RC. Oh shit. He's gonna catch him. He's gonna intercept that ball. It was man coverage and I played a little too aggressive but we were stunting two linebackers, so there was no deep man. I lined up at five yards instead of seven, and I just wasn't quick enough on the turn, and I got burnt for a touchdown. 97% of the team I can outlast, but the quick thing, that's, that's a different story, and I'm lacking there, but working on that. I mean, I've always liked, love football. I mean, love football. But I, I forgot about how much I like playing football. I was 17 when I stopped playing football. I just, I forgot. I loved it. I loved it so much. And so as the, as the, as the spring progressed, you know, it was time to like kind of try out and make the team type thing. Who knows if I'm going to be fast enough? Who knows if I'm going to be strong enough or quick enough? But what I do know is that if I give everything I've got, like, I'm okay with it.